Abobo Abobo, as promised. This is Carly from Casa Voodoo. In our talk show, Voodoo Lakai, home Haitian voodoo. And today we are going to talk about illumination. Illumination. What does it mean? What do you do it? Is there a reason for it? What do people do illumination? What do people do that? So the idea behind us, it's about time that I do what I'm supposed to do. Because my mission, I've said it before, is different from Elan mission. We we have to talk about Fodou and I have to do the English version and she will do the Creole version, Haitian Creole version. Hmm. As you can see, I started doing videos and I just stopped. Why did I stop? I don't know. I felt like maybe there wasn't an interest, but not everybody felt the same way. Once again, I'm Carly from um, with Casa Voodoo. In our talk, our video, quote unquote, you can see you can only hear my voice, you know, see me. I'm not one who likes to be in front of the camera. I'm camera shy. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> but there will be times that I will actually turn on that camera on myself, right? So you all can see that you all remember what I look like. So today well, I'm going to really talk about illumination, illumination, illumination. And it is important that for those children, our ancestors are now chosen, that are no longer just from Haiti, from the homeland. They are chosen, they are being, ch they are being chosen who, those who don't even speak Creole. Don't get it twisted, boo-boo. Because when they are mounted by their spirit, they speak Creole well. Thank you. Illumination or illumination is when you need to find out exactly, am I chosen? Another reason people usually do that is because they are having some problems in life and they're not sure what it is. And they may have a feeling it could be spiritual. So... They have to figure it out because as you all know, most of you, hopefully all of you know that Haitian parents, Haitian family, they don't talk about voodoo. You know why? Because voodoo is bad. It's devil worshiper. You're worshiping the devil. You're worshiping Satan. I've never met Satan. I've never worshiped the devil. And I'm sure most of you don't. So you don't talk about it because no one else, even though at a time they were servitor, you know, they were in service to the law, they decided they are so conditioned, so brainwashed to believe that something that gave you independence could be evil. But it happens. So basically, they don't talk to their children about it. They don't even... So now this child... Your child, these children who are born here, um, you have taken to church. But the law says, uh, uh, boo -boo, that is not her journey in this lifetime. This is not her mission to be in your church, for you to bring her to your church to listen to someone preaching to them. Their job is much, much more profound. Yes. They have a mission to heal. Healing could be physical, spiritual, mental. We all have a gift that we need to nourish this gift. Not be ashamed of it. So you do it. Illumination. Illumination. So basically, what do you need for illumination? There is a video actually where my boy Len and I, we did it, where she showed you how to actually do a mesh. Call it a wick if you want, but it's called a mesh in Creole. So what you're going to do, you're going to get your olive oil, your Haitian castor oil, or boot, a bottle of Haitian cola, cola lakai. You're going to get a bottle of white rum, babanko, and of course a glass of water. To me, me personally, when um, I'm talking about, uh, when I'm talking about, uh, you know, embracing the elements, because when we do that, we can say, okay, so this is actually... The fire, the illumination is actually represent fire as an element. A glass of water, because you have to have the glass of water, present, you know, fire, water, earth, and air. Um, so you're going to 
I personally open the crackle of the window a little bit. I don't want too much wind to come in so it don't turn off my illumination stuff. So what I'm going to do, so that's what I do. So I physically get soiled and I put it in a bowl or something. And I represent all of the elements. And I have my plate, my white plate. Please do not use, you got to use something that can sustain heat. It's you, It has to be white. It's called Asiat Emaye. Okay. Your olive oil, your Haitian castor oil, and you do your wick, your mesh. It could be seven, but you have all these. You have to be physically, mentally, and spiritually prepared. Abstinence is a good way, three days in advance, when you do decide that I need to figure out what's going on in my life. I need to know why I'm having all these issues. I need to know if it's spiritual. And that's how you're going to address the spirit. I know nothing. I do not know anything. I have no one to guide me. I'm here asking for guidance. And you ask for what you want. Even if you're a skeptic, it's okay to be a skeptic. I'm all about skepticism. But if you go to, after you do your illumination, your illumination, and you go to bed, and you find your ancestors, the spirit, the loa come and talk to you and tell you, hey, take this, put it there, take that, do this, go see that person. Because you also need to find someone that actually is chosen, like it is supposed to be. But nowadays, we all know it's a uh, chaos because everybody wants to be a mambo, everybody wants to be a uga. But in reality, can you imagine? I've said this before. If we're all, if we were all chosen to be mambos and ugas, then we all should be doctors, lawyers, and all the great stuff. What people see as having a great job or a great career, then we should all be all those. There'll be no one to pick up the trash. There'll be no one to pick up the trash. There'll be no entrepreneurs because everybody will have a career in what we are told is the proper or the right thing to do. When you are chosen to be a healer, a clairvoyance, clairaudience, when you are here to heal people mentally, physically, spiritually, that's what your journey is on this planet, on this earth. That's what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to help people. I remember many years ago, Papa Ogu came and Papa Ogu had said, that's over 20 years ago. Papa Ogu said, you know, one day we all going to talk about voodoo. It's going to be talked about on radio, on the radio, on television. And I remember <laughs> my Marco man and I we were sitting at each other, looking at each other. It's like, did Papa Ogu just say they're going to talk about this vo Haitian voodoo? We're going to talk about voodoo on television, on the radio? And here we are. 20 some odd years later, here we are. Here we go. That's exactly what's happening. Because it's been demonized so much that we don't realize that it is is not about worshipping Satan or the devil or whatever um, um, tag um, Voodoo has. It actually is about healing. It's here to protect and serve. In everything in life in general... Even if you are so-called Christian, you call yourself a Christian, let's say. Some of these people are not very nice. Just like you find voodoo is all not very nice. Because people have a choice. You either go right or you go left. So you make a choice. You're either positive or negative. That's just life. You have to choose a side. If you decide that you are going to use whatever it is that you have in order to help for, for to... Um, make people lives better and you decided ah, I'm not into that. I just want to be ev evil. I want to do all anything negative, use negative vibration, negative energy to help others. Then that's your choice. That has nothing to do with voodoo. If, if voodoo was part of, was what actually gave us independence, why is it evil? So why are we supposed to sit there and then our ancestors were supposed to accept and just go with it? And then one day, whenever they decided, they're like, you know, we're kind of tired of having those slaves. So let's just give them our freedoms, their freedoms. Excuse me. Is that the way it should have been? No. So your illumination, your illumination is there 
to help guide you, give you clarity on it is exactly what it is. What is going on in my life? What is it? What's, what's happening? Is it spiritual? If it is spiritual, what should I do? Find find the right person. Put the right person in my path. Not all of you need supposed to be Uga and Mumbles. Because if you are supposed to be Uga and Mumbles, you are chosen from birth. Not because somebody look at you and said, oh, you're so beautiful. You are wearing such nice clothes. You're so handsome. Look at the way you dress, the way you walk. You should have ass on. This is not a joke. If uh, if uh, during colonization that we did they couldn't get rid of voodoo, you think those charlatan couldn't get rid of voodoo? So that's why you do illumination. That's why you do illumination because you are trying to find guidance. You are trying to find clarity in your life journey. That's what you're doing. So you do illumination to get the answers to your problem. Problems. That's what you do illumination for. It's a way to guide you. So don't listen to people if you are a gifted person. Because we all have a mission in life. I've always believed that. I believe the spiritual world, no matter where you're from, it's all connected. Could I don't feel like spirits or of um, positive light or bright light or light or prejudice. They don't care. When you are gifted, they, they communicate with you to tell you things to help people. It's a gift. It's not given by Satan. If Satan is here to destroy you, why would they give you a gift that you can actually help people with? Explain that one to me because I have no clue. It makes no sense. So when you are confused, and you feel lost in your family. We all know what happened. Even though they were one time in the service of the law, they decided they were so brainwashed, so conditioned to hit themselves, hit their culture, hit who they are. They don't even talk about it. So when you have a child who has a problem, since you don't talk about it, and they're having all these issues because you don't want to talk about this evil thing, but your child is suffering, what do you do about that? You're not going to talk to them about it. So the best way for you to figure it out, do your elimination. Do your elimination. Elimination. Do it. Because that's what it's there for. To communicate. For the, your ancestors to come and talk to you and guide you to your life journey. You always have to know that. You have to know that. You always have to have that in the back of your mind. So it is important to understand why people do it. And that's why I'm sharing that with you. When you have certain gifts and you don't know anything about it, and you probably think, you know, oh, I can do this. Like for myself, for example, like I can look at you and look at your chakras. It's not something I woke up and I read about. It's just like, oh, chakras. Oh, okay, I can see. It's not a line. So you need to do this with the chakra. You need to balance it. You need to find a way to ground yourself, to heal it, whichever the chakra is that you need to take care of. It's not something I read in books. When I... There are certain things that I could do a re let's say I'm sometime I do it depends on the person because messages come different ways for different people. And I'm sitting there and I see a crystal. I see the color, I see the texture, I see what it is, and I said, Oh, I see such and such crystal. This is what it looks like. I actually have to to be honest, I have to Google the crystal because I'm not really, this is not my areas of expertise, but I know crystals are important, be all the element of the earth just like we had a video it was a very short one we talk about the difference between the pierre and the crystals so when i talk to you about illumination because it's the beginning of your journey when you're not sure this is how you figure it out because you will find your answers you may not have it it depends on the where the beta you're from it depends on the spirit who's bringing the message it might not be the same night. It could be a com someone who knew nothing about what you were going to do. They, it's like, you know, I had the strangest dream for you. And they tell you about the dream. This is our message. Because, you know, the reason I, I believe why I do that is because they know you always, we always, we're always, we're so skeptic. We are so, we, we, we're a bunch of skeptic. We, we always thinking that, okay, that, that's not true. 
So to prove to you that I heard what you said. I heard what you asked of us. So here is the message from a complete stranger who didn't know you did elimination. That's how you have to look at it. That's how you have to think about it. When you feel alone and you feel lost and you need clarity, the, men, the items that I mentioned are the ones that you need for your illumination, for your illumination. Do it and you will find a way. While doing that, you also need to find a person. Ask the Lord to put someone in your path who's actually chosen, who's res who respect voodoo, who know what voodoo is, that can actually help you. Because being spiritual is being spiritual. Spirituality has a lot to do with what you put in your body, the way you think, the way you behave, physically, emotionally, mentally. It's all part of being spiritual. So my advice to you, when you are confused, do your illumination. So like I said, like we said last week, so one week of English talk and then one week of Haitian Creole. We will continue to do that because it's not like one day we woke up, we're like, you know, we're kind of bored. So let's just do some, video, some videos. It, it wasn't like that. A lot of times when we start videos, it's like, uh, what are we going to talk about? And boom, it comes to us. This is what you need to talk about. Because it is important for you to embrace you. Embrace every part of you. Embrace who you are. Don't be ashamed of who you are. Love yourself. Know that you are a very special being full of lights of love and compassion and when you are looking for guidance would ask your ancestors and the best way to do it is illumination and that's why today I came to share that with you we'll I will continue to do English talk and I will upload them and then every and next week we may not do anything because you know it's gay day so we don't know yet if we don't have a video for you next week, I'm sure we will have a video on next Friday with Shishin Creole. And the week after, the following week, it will be English. And like I said, there are times I will probably sit in front of the camera. Like I said, so you all can remember what it looked like. But for the time being, I feel happier, <laughs> let's say, when I'm talking without having a camera on my face. So I wish you all happiness, love, compassion. May the Lord guide you, light your path, so you're able to find your true calling. Abobo, till next time.